Greetings automotive enthusiasts. Today we have for you something really off the beaten path for us here at EuroAsian Auto. Um, but I think it's probably one of the coolest cars I've ever bought. Uh, this is a 1930 Ford Model A truck. And uh, man, I didn't even know that I wanted one of these things until I saw it. Uh, just kind of a crazy story on this one, actually. It was a local truck here, another uh, used car dealer slash collector, kind of like myself, um, had this in his collection for, I think, about the last five years. And uh, he uh, it didn't, uh, he really rarely drove it. He's, you know, said he only drove it a few times and then he let it sit and then the gas went bad and, and uh, batteries go bad, put a new battery in it, get it going and just keep fighting it. Cause I mean, you gotta drive these old cars. Really, one of the keys also is using non-ethanol gas. But uh, but anyway, he uh, went and put a brand new carburetor on it. It cost him, he said, about 500 bucks to get the carburetor on and get it dialed back in and going again. And and uh, and decided to take it to the uh, used car dealer auction, actually. And uh, so that's kind of where this uh, truck was sourced. Uh, like I said, I didn't even know one. I wanted one of these until I saw it. I mean, I've seen a lot of these old Model T's and Model A's running around but I don't know that I've ever seen a truck in person. And uh, I was just, I mean, I was just in love, love at first sight with this thing. It's just such a cool vehicle. I mean, it's, you know, if you're a car guy, I mean, this is history, right? Um, I mean, this truck is almost, it's, getting, it's gonna be a hundred years old soon. Uh, but what really blew me away about the truck was when I actually, you know, I thought, I don't know anything about Model A trucks or Model A's in general. Um, you know, and, and, uh, so I thought this thing's going to be kind of really funky to drive and, and all that stuff. And I'll talk a little bit more about the, uh, driving and stuff when we get in it. But the bottom line is, is this thing is kind of turnkey. I jump in it, go run around. I've driven it home. I run errands in it. Uh, I just drive this thing around town. It'll run 45 mile an hour all day long. It'll, it'll top out about 50, but it feels really comfortable about 45. So that's kind of where I keep it. Um, but just a cool truck that somebody, you know, it would be really, I, I need to get a model, a specialist and, you know, and get this truck to them and have them kind of inspect the truck. And, you know, they know what stampings to look for and markings and all this and that. Um, I, I have a sneaking suspicion that this is a prime example of this truck. I think there is some serious originality to this truck. And uh, when we go around the truck, um, in the details, I'll kind of explain to you what I'm talking about. But uh, super cool truck. It's a 3.3 liter inline cast iron flathead four cylinder engine, two valves per cylinder. And uh, it's funny. What's surprised me about the truck is this truck actually puts out 40 horsepower, which I thought was pretty respectable at like 2200 RPM. But what really surprised me was it showed uh, online, I was just doing, you know, doing some research and it showed 128 foot pounds of torque at a thousand RPM. So, I mean, this thing's like a tractor really. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you think about it, but, but it's very, very drivable and very usable and it's got working, you know, brake lights and all the lights work great. and. And, um, I mean, I, like I said, I live 30 miles from my shop and I've driven it back and forth to work and out just tooling around and drove it around the farm, took the dogs in the back. And I mean, I just didn't have a ball with this truck, but, but yeah, I was kind of surprised about that. And the truck only weighs like 2,300 pounds. Um, you know, so it, it runs along pretty well, the three speed manual transmission. Uh, but it's just like a standard H pattern, you know, reverses up and first is down and then H pattern second and third. Um, you know, so first is like a pulling tractor gear and second's kind of a good middle gear. And then third's basically like an overdrive, you know, pretty big gaps between the gears, but you know, it does what it needs to do. So, uh, but let's uh, kind of zoom in on this truck and, and, uh, we'll, we'll look it over pretty close. We're not going to get into like every little teeny flaw, but, but so, you know, the gentleman had it, he bought it just like it is. And, uh, so what I'm, when I'm looking at this truck, what I'm, seeing is I'm, I'm guesstimating about a 10 year old restoration but what i think this is though is somebody took a truck that was in incredible survivor condition and then did a frame off um like serious 
you know, high level restoration on this truck. Uh, but it looks like, it looks like everything's original in the truck though. You know, as I, you know, as far as the, the components and the body and all that stuff, but we'll kind of zoom in here a little bit. Um, this truck was in great shape, but I even had Van Gogh, uh, come and, and do a polish on it and a paint correction, you know, cause it had some scratches and some nicks. And so they did some touch-ups, but, but just look at that paint. I mean, this thing looks like it should be in a museum. I mean, it is really, really nice. It's probably nicer than it was when it rolled off the, the showroom floor, probably to be honest with you, off the production line. But, uh, so we'll look here, you know, there, like I said, there's little flaws here, little chips, little nicks and scratches and scrapes, but that's what I love about this truck is that I can just get in this thing, have some fun with it and drive it around and, and not really worry about it. Um, headlights, I mean, just look at the, I mean, these are, look at that, it's got the Ford emblem on there. I am guessing that these are, and this truck is still the six volt factory original, um, electrical system generator. And uh, so he's running, uh, it's a six volt, but he's running an eight volt battery in it. We put a, uh, had the battery was kind of old in it. And, and so we went ahead and put a brand new interstate in it because we didn't, you know, we wanted it to be reliable so he can drive it anywhere. But uh, actually, so it makes the brights, lights a little bit brighter and it, and it works really well. And the electrical systems are really robust on these cars. So no issues there. So I'm told uh, about running an eight volt battery on the six volt system. Uh, the wheels are just, awesome condition they've obviously been completely stripped down and restored the tires uh they really nice uh this thing does not shake at all the tires are nice and soft there's no date codes on these so i don't know how old they are they they are showing a little bit of cracking but they this thing goes 45 miles down the road dead straight let go of the wheel there's zero shaking zero pulling um you know so I am happy with the tires. This isn't something going to take a long trip in anyway, so um, I'm really happy with the serviceability of the tires. Unless they started to fail, I wouldn't change them. Like I said, we got some, you know, just a little touch-ups and nicks and chips and whatnot. Uh, bumper is absolutely beautiful. Come across the front bumper. A little paint missing there. But the bumper is really nice. It's got the Auga horn. <laughs> I'll hit that for you later. But it does the Auga. <laughs> and these, this is actually the uh, water temperature thermostat, so you can actually see your water temperature, or if it's getting hot or whatever, through the radiator cap. There's our original. And you see that, that looks original. You know, it doesn't look reproduced. I mean, it has a lot of patina to it. That's what I love about this truck, is it has some patina, but it looks really, really nice. Radiator is in good condition. Fenders, really nice. Right. A few little nicks and chips here and there. Right headlight, very nice. Both the headlights work. Well, it's funny, you know, for high lows, it's not uh, high beam, low beam. It's, it's a left headlight, both headlights. So when you turn the switch on one, it does one headlight. And then your second time kicks the other headlight on, so it's independent. So your low beam is one headlight's low and one headlight's high beam. So kind of cool that way. Love this little cream colored pinstripe on this dark forest green. Looks fantastic. A few little scratches there on the cowl from the hood opening and closing. But I mean, that's just use of the truck. Little, uh, oh no, that's nothing there. Just a little water spot. There's your fuel tank. Holds 10 gallons today. I know that because I ran out of fuel. <laughs> oh, there's the hinge. We'll open the hood here one, after I do the walk around. Cool little tire cover on it. Wheel, the spare wheel is in pretty much perfect shape. The tire's got air in it. I love the little visor here in really good shape. And the windshield is in super nice shape. No chips or cracks in it. A few little pits in it. Uh, the wiper actually works. It's vacuum operated, works off engine vacuum. And it actually does work. Neat little mirror here. Actually, the visibility out of this truck is really good. 
I love this material, this vinyl top. And uh, what's really interesting is this only has bows in here. So it's like, this isn't a solid metal roof, it's just vinyl. And then it has a headliner, which I'll show you the headliner, you know. Um, so it's just all padded with some bows in there. Kind of a cool setup there. So here's our door glasses here. They're in really nice shape. And uh, obviously these are probably reproduction because these are safety. I think these are laminated. So somebody put uh, safety glass in it for obviously for safety reasons. Um, so you don't break glass and end up slicing yourself open in an accident potential. Door is in excellent shape. Actually, it's cool. You, you can actually, I saw on the passenger door, there was a lock on the inside and I was like, really door locks? Cause I didn't see it on the driver's side, but then I noticed that there's an outside door lock. So you can actually lock this truck up and, uh, but look at the hardware, you know, this isn't, this isn't some cheap aftermarket reproduction. This is the real deal. You can feel it. This is my opinion, you know, I get an expert in here or whatever. Um, so, you know, this is just my opinion on this truck. I'm not an expert. I'll, you know, put a disclaimer there, but been around cars a long time to have a pretty good opinion on things, even if I'm not familiar with the particular maker model. Here's our mirror there. It works really nice. We'll go through the door jams and everything once we do a full walk around. And you see, you can see here all the wood's been replaced. Even the running boards are really nice. And underneath the truck is absolutely solid. I'll run the phone camera underneath of it. But you can see, because these are really heavy steel fenders. I mean, this is the real deal. This is not reproduction. This is not fiberglass. This is real steel, all steel bodied Model A Ford. Look at the back side of the cab. Uh, just, man, I love this truck. That little pinstripe is so sharp. Look at it on the back of the cab. There is a little crack in the back glass right there. But other than that, it's very nice and very clear. They made little side rails on it. Looks really nice. I think these are fairly new. They look new. They look pretty raw, like, you know, just like the, they've been made. And uh, so when you look in the bed here, this has kind of been stained in the bed. And here, I'll go ahead and give you a full shot of the bed. Bed is in excellent condition. Hey, you can kind of see my, a little bit of water spots and a little bit of paw prints, maybe. <laughs> the dogs love this truck, man. They didn't jump out. They just rode along. I'll drop in a photo of my puppies and some of the pictures around the farm with this truck. Cool. I'll show you how the tailgate operates here in a second, too. But what I was telling you is uh, this looks pretty new. So what I want to do is, uh, if you'll see, it's a little bit lighter than the bed. So I'm going to uh, pull this up and kind of do some testing on the hidden part but I'm gonna stain this a little bit I wanted a little darker to match the bed and a little stain will give it a little deeper look to it you know that lighter look I mean it looks great I'm being super picky but hey it's my truck <laughs> for the mile for now all right rear wheel you know they're all pretty much all in even condition let me show you the front wheel and the caps are all really nice too remember if I did the front wheel for you but there is the front wheel I like the little box pin striping around the bedside these lights are so cool I, I've got to do this here I've got to put the park lights on and show you this so here is the light there are no lights on but then so if you if you park somewhere this is your park light. It says stop. And that's basically saying that you're stopped. And both sides light up there saying stop. Isn't that cool? And then I'll go ahead and turn on the headlights. Be right here, right here. So off, park, stop lights, off, low beam, high beam. I'll show you the lights here. And actually the lights are, are pretty visible. And you'll see they're 
lit up there. And then when you hit the, uh, the brake light, that bottom light, I can't do it by myself, but that bottom light lights up uh, brighter than I expected actually. So what I do when somebody's following me, because obviously I'm going slower than most of the traffic, see, check out the headlights. That's so cool. <laughs> that's so cool but so what i do if i see somebody coming up behind me because it's real easy to see out the rearview mirrors two of them and uh so when somebody's coming up behind me uh if it looks like they're coming a little fast i'll kind of just tap my brake lights and make them flash just to get their attention here we go right here <laughs> Ooh, God. we'll do the interior after we get done so again there's our fenders, paint's really nice. There was some scratches and stuff. Boy, they did a great job of touching that up. I told them, I said, just do the best you can. It's an old truck, but golly, you can't even hardly see where they touched it up. It wasn't bad, but it still sure looks good now. Like I said, let's zoom in on our lights here. So look at that duo lamp in just excellent condition. And I don't think those are reproduction either. We'll come across this just to show you the whole bumper here. Beautiful condition on the bumper. Little forward emblem there. <laughs> I love it. So pretty. And then here's the right tail light. I mean, it's just got the right amount of age and it just has a different quality feel to it. So here's your tailgate right here. All you do is it has a little hook. You just lift up on the hook, drop your chain. Lift up on your hook, drop your chain, and then the chain just slides around. The little tab right here, the hook locks it in place, and you simply do that and lower your tailgate. And that thing's, that thing's got some weight to it too. So here it is, tailgate down, full view of the bed. I'll put that up here later. Right, bedside, like I said, the wood is in perfect shape. Bedside is nice. Fenders, you can see there was a couple of scratches there touched up. Great job, Van Gogh. Made my truck look so good. Right rear wheel, caps are nice. They might've been replaced, I don't know, they look pretty darn nice. Because things like wheel caps usually get beat up. There's the running board. I usually try to step over the running board so I don't wear the paint off of it. And just It's real easy just to step over it and step out. There is the door. <laughs> you can see I got my 1930s <laughs> outfit on. I got my bib overalls and my matching uh, green there. I'll flip around here and give you a view of what I'm wearing. And here it is. Got the whole boots, <laughs> the hat, I don't know. I think my shirt looks really good with it too. What you guys think? Huh, that work? <laughs> Just having some fun here. Let's get back on the truck. All right, enough silliness there. Cab, truck is nice. Huh, where do those bolts go to? Never even noticed that. Oh, that's interesting. Door handle. So it looks fantastic. Door's in great shape. The paint, the finish, the everything's really good on this truck. You get little scratches on the cow. Model A Ford Club of America. And the windshield uh, tilts out. I'll show you that from the inside. But that's your defrost and your AC. <laughs> One click out for defrost, full tilt out for air conditioning. It's 40 and uh, with three windows. <laughs> There's the right fender. All right, I'm gonna attempt to just, uh, you just pull this little lever here, pull this level lever here, and I'm just gonna ease up on the hood. Kinda, we're not gonna get too in depth here in the engine bay, but there we are. Brand new carburetor. There's our heater right there. It's literally just a manifold that goes over the manifold and the fan and the forced air reduction blows air right into the manifold. 
heats it up as it goes across the exhaust manifold and there's just a flapper inside the cab and it's just a little door and you rotate it open and rotate it closed it's on or off that's your heater there's your sediment bowl for your fuel system but the carburetor's brand new this little engine absolutely runs like a top i'll show you the other side here easy down with the hood i can see where it'd be really easy to if you're not careful really easy to scratch scratch things here all right we'll go around the other side show you the other side of the engine bay same thing and then what you also do if you want to work on it uh, you see how you have the the split seam here so what you do is you just take a uh, little microfiber towel lay it on this side of the hood because basically the hood just lays over on itself so you don't want to go paint to paint you don't want to risk scratching it so there was a microfiber towel in the truck behind the seat and i was like well, what was that in here for that's not an oil rag and then i kind of figured it out oh that's the <laughs> to keep from scratching your top of your hood up so uh, hold see so basically see it lays down and it folds on top of itself i'm not going to let it go because i don't have a rag there so here's our generator fan belt and it doesn't get any more basic than that flathead forward there's our starter steering gear the truck i mean it just there's no play i, I was actually am amazed at uh, how comfortable this truck rides down the road there's a girl, my lord, in a flatbed floor. It's slowing down to take a look at me. Take it easy. <laughs> Break out in song here if you're not careful. All right, let's take a look on the inside. All right, again, it has some really awesome materials in here. The door, check out this material. Now, I I'm guessing, I mean, this would have to be reproduced. I would think. I mean, it's just in too good of a shape. But, but I mean, look, all these fasteners, you know, they, they really, they're really nice, but they got some patina. But if you look along the edge of the door and then there's a little bit of overspray, so you can just tell, you know, this truck was painted and there's some overspray, but that's why I'm saying there's some serious originality here. Here's what's even more confusing is there's some overspray on these weather strippings. So it's like, If, and so these reverence strippings haven't been replaced when this thing was painted. So that means they were in this condition. So I'm kind of confused about the ending you know, on this door, the metal. You know, there's no rust in these doors. Here's the door handle, check it out. It just goes up. That's how you open it. And then the window, and what I was amazed at is how easy the windows operate. Super easy. And then look how they close. It's a great mechanical positive sound. Absolutely love it. There's my old straw work hat and my handkerchief if I need it. <laughs> Let me set that on the floor there and I'll show you the seat. Some old mm. vinyl here. Got a little split in the stitching right there. Probably had probably take the cover off to fix it because I don't think you can stitch it from where it's at. But the seat cover is in really nice shape. Um, I mean, that's obviously I mean, I would say that. I mean, again, I don't know Model A's, but I would think that that's been replaced. So check out the interior of this. It's a nice felt. And just kind of, and it's padded. It's heavy padded for insulation. And it's just neat. Look out. And then there's your ceiling, the headliner. All the interior is just perfect. It's a little bit dirty and dusty. I haven't cleaned in here at all. This is how I got the truck. I'll show you the floor here. So here's what I want to talk to you about. That Velcro here. I need the Velcro. Okay, so I'm looking at the light switch here. Um, see that amount of patina? Your hands are on here, so you got the salt, right? So this is going to get the worst wear because it's constantly getting touched with oil and salt. But look at the condition, and I actually need to go and polish that a little bit because that'll actually polish up with some never dull or whatever. But uh, 
So that's obviously original. This steering wheel, I'm gonna call this steering wheel original uh, because it doesn't look new, you know? And if, if it had been replaced when this truck was restored, you know, cause since the paint hardly has any age to it, this would basically look brand new, but this doesn't look brand new. And here's our inside rear view mirror. And then here's our little chrome levers to flip the window open. Just undo the thumb wheel and flip that belt and it just kicks it out from the bottom like that. So here's the edges of our doors. Let me go ahead and show you all the way around the doors. You know, cause that's what's important. There's our doors and our, let me back up a little bit. There's our doors and our door jams. See how nice that is? And there's just, there's no, I don't know where this truck come from. I don't know what the story is on this truck, but it's got to be <laughs> a miracle. 1930 folks, look at this thing, 1930. Little modern piece of foam in there to help seal it. But you can see there is zero rust on those doors. But they're just nice and heavy, heavy metal doors. Reproduction stuff typically is just, you know, in general is just thinner. But look at the hardware and everything. See how original that is? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Look at the overspray right here. Look at this edge here and look at that. <laughs> I bet you. That's completely un. I bet you that's completely original. I bet you this thing was an incredible survivor that's had an exterior repaint, and then they took the body off and replaced all the wood, because I'm sure the wood. What's this do? I haven't even really looked at this. There's a little wood trim. Man, it just looks old. She's old, just old. And here's their battery underneath the floor carpet here. Floor carpet, <laughs> floor, uh, floor rubber mat. Here's our little throttle dude. Man, I'll put that on. I knocked it off with my foot there with my boots. I'm not used to wearing boots, they're kind of clunky. So here's our pedals, pedal rubbers. Again, I haven't cleaned any of this. So it's got some splotches and some spots in it. I haven't really looked under here that much. Look at that dark green though. So this truck is a green truck. Oh my gosh, what is that? Uh, there's a dome light. Really? There's a dome light there. Not working, but I didn't even know there was a dome light. Yeah, this this is potentially original paint on the inside. Again, just giving you an opinion here, but it doesn't look new in here. There's our, <laughs> here I'm gonna zoom in. That's our heater right there. See that flapper? And uh, I can go ahead and close it. It was chilly this morning, it's about 40 degrees, but basically, just rotate that over and the heater is off. <laughs> How funny is that, huh? Cool. And so this is the throttle pedal. That's a, just a foot stop, a rest. There's your starter right here. Brake and clutch. Open up this mat here. So that's wood floor and there's our battery underneath of there. Let's see, look at the truck. Unbelievable. Man, the more I look at this truck, because I, I haven't really, I'm kind of looking at it almost closer than I have. Let's go around the other side. Again, I don't know. Somebody tell me if that's original door panel or not. I mean, with the condition of the rest of this interior, I don't know anything's possible because there's so much originality here door jams i'll probably get both the truck body and the door piece of foam there show you underneath here 
sure that wood's been replaced. But look at the metal. Wow, this thing needs to be in a museum. It really does. So there's our fuel. So that little lever right there, up and down is fuel on and then sideways is fuel off. This little guy right here, you pull it out for the choke and then you can turn it to actually adjust your mixture uh, on the fly. It, it goes straight to the carburetor. So you can adjust your mixture on the fly. There's your parking brake right there. Here's your shifter. Just, and I mean, it, it has such great engagement. Backside jam. And here's the seat from the passenger side. I'm gonna look under this, this seat. I'm just curious, what the heck? I mean, you can't find a 2005 truck with that little rust on it. A 2000 truck, let alone a 1930 truck. That is spectacular. I know I throw some stupid words around sometimes, but I mean, I think awesome cannot be an overstated word on this truck. All right, let's take a peek underneath here. Okay, here's our running boards. You can see that they are super nice. Exhaust. There's the wood floor, floor pan of the truck. I would guess that they lifted the body off of this truck when they, when they did it, you know, to replace all that stuff. Here's the wheel wells, fenders. I am going to have an inspection done on this truck. I have to know what this truck is all about. Drum brakes all the way around, mechanical, and they actually work fantastic. I mean, I say fantastic. They work very adequately for <laughs> a 1930 vehicle and it's capable speeds. Yeah, see that frame? You know, you can see the body's probably been off that frame. That frame looks really nice. Looks pretty fresh, looks freshly painted on the frame. This truck does leave a couple drops when you uh, stop. Steering, everything is super tight, no rattles, goes down the road perfectly. Look underneath here. Yeah, I got a little bit of a drip there in the oil pan. Not sure what it is. Probably the oil pan gasket, because it's Nice and clean on the motor. Would be my guess. Look inside the fenders. Oh, yeah, a little bit of a zoom on there. There's a little, well, a little dirty there from driving it. I need to clean that up actually. Cause that's basically exposed <laughs> kind of body work. You need to clean it up. Get down low here. There's our battery. I'll show you from the back side. Get a good workout on this thing. There's our fender well. <laughs> all right there's our differential it's quiet too i mean no major no gear noise there's our transverse leaf spring setup very nice i love the sound of this truck too it just has the coolest little tone to it absolutely get the biggest kick out of it so what this is here is this is actually the ignition advance on this side. So when it's cold, you know, you want to retard the timing to make it easy to start. This is a manual throttle right here. So it's kind of like a tractor. You can just pull your throttle up or down. Actually, it works as cruise control too. You can just pull that and then rest your foot on the foot stop. 
And what, oh, here's what I, I can't believe I almost forgot this. So here's what I wanted to tell you about this truck. I look at this instrument panel here and this does not look new. There's lots of age, lots of patina. That's the gas gauge. That's the amp meter, speedometer and odometer work, ignition switch. But here's what I want you to look at. 5,870 miles or 20 miles. The odometer and speedometer do work, but if you look, these are not new. They look, basically the patina of this whole thing matches the rest of the truck. There's no way this truck is 105,000 miles. I mean, I would say this truck has 5,800 miles on it. That is my opinion. If this was all brand new and shiny and it looked like it just came off the showroom and all these letters were perfectly shiny, then it's just a reproduction piece. And then, you know, then that's maybe the miles from when it was restored. But uh, looking at this truck, I think this could be a time capsule barn survivor with a sympathetic restoration. My opinion. And I am going to do some work to, uh, you know, get some verification on that. But like I said, I'm just giving you some ideas here. And there is the starter button right there. Just push that with your foot. If you'll notice, <laughs> I just touched that starter button. Give it a little bit more RPM. Oh, it picked up on its own. Look at the exhaust. There is no smoke in this truck. I love the little pitter patter of that four cylinder. Then we'll go ahead and lock that on. But there she is, running. Just touch the button and boom, it just explodes. How could this truck run any better? And it's funny, when it sits overnight, that's exactly how it starts first thing in the morning. I pull the choke and it just goes boom and I let go of the choke and it just, and it drops to a perfect dead idle. Never even stalls. Well, there's a pretty decent little thorough, little overview of the 1930 Model A truck. Let's do my favorite part. Let's jump in it and let's go for a ride. Fire it back up. That's it. All there is to it. First gear and roll on out. Here we go. All right. <laughs> no power steering, obviously. No. Here we go. Caught the, caught the red light here. So, got a rear view mirror right here, side view mirror, um, visibility. One weird thing about this truck is all this glass is flat and we're basically in a box. So you get reflections, like so things in front of you reflect off the back window, you know, things behind you reflect off the front window. So you, there's a lot of weird reflections. So it can be a little weird to get used to. Shifter's a little bit tight there, you know, kind of next to my knee. So basically, it's either kind of rev match it and downshift or come to a stop, you know, but pretty, pretty simple. Like I said, the gears are actually pretty easy.
guys enjoyed our little uh, tour of the uh, 1930 Model A truck. I love this thing. Uh, at some point in time I'll put it on the website for sale but right now it's not for sale. Um, I'm just going to kind of enjoy it for a while. Uh, not even sure what the price it at. I, I want to get it inspected and uh, you know and have somebody really appraise it for me and, uh, and we'll kind of go from there. So um, appreciate you riding along. Uh, LCS, right? Like, comment, and subscribe. I, I appreciate you guys if you would do that. Leave some comments. You know, let me know what you know about these trucks. Um, the uh, you know, look us up on Facebook, Euro Asian Auto, and uh, if you would hit that notifications button, and that way, whenever we get cars in, 
you'll be notified and you'll get to watch the video first because you never know when we might have your next dream car or truck. Have a great day. Happy motoring.